Okay, so today's video is just how to remove these. So literally all you do is put your hand down this gap. You can see I'm pushing on the back of this because it's held in at this front end. You can see that's already lifting out. Then all you need to do is pull, then slide it forwards. Now it comes. Then all you need to do is rotate that bulb out. Now if it comes, as simple as that. So you can see here, this is where it actually hooks on. So if we look at the back, you can see there's a little nodule there that pushes into that. And then on this end, there's a hook and that just hooks around this end. So that's as simple as that. Okay, so for the process of painting these, Obviously imagine yours are chrome because mine have already been painted green, I'm actually going to paint them black. But if you wanted to remove these from your car, obviously follow the instructions on removing it. Then you can see that clips in there, so literally remove that and do the same on this one. That gets your light off and the minor smoked ones but the stock ones are exactly the same as that. Then your S, you'll probably have a little bit of glue around this silver chrome nodule that's sticking out there. So we need to do is clear that glue off it, tick it off, and you should be able to see there, that's all that holds it in. And you'll be able to pull your S logo off. And then the final bit that you want to remove is just this black grill here. You can see it's held on at this end by this little clip that hooks over here and then these two little ones here just be really gentle especially with the age of these cars now the plastic's a little fragile so try and pull those in with your finger and lift up if you can't we'll get a tiny little screwdriver just to push that out slightly okay so for the process of painting these obviously imagine yours are chrome because mine have already been painted green I'm actually going to paint them black but if you wanted to remove these from your car, obviously follow the instructions on removing it. And then you can see that clips in there. So literally remove that and do the same on this one. That gets your light off and the minor smoked ones, but the stock ones are exactly the same as that. Then your S, you'll probably have a little bit of glue around this silver chrome nodule that's sticking out there. So we need to do is clear that glue off it, tick it off, and you should be able to see there that's all that holds it in. And you'll be able to pull your S logo off. And then the final bit that you want to remove is just this black grill here. You can see it's held on at this end just by this little clip that hooks over here, and then these two little ones here be really gentle especially with the age of these cars now the plastic's a little fragile so I'll try and pull those in with your finger and lift up if you can't we'll get a tiny little screwdriver just to push that out slightly okay so we just get our little screwdriver in and just try and leave it up over so that's one side out and again, just be gentle. These plastics, especially on these cars now, are getting a little bit older, so they're a bit fragile, so you don't want to damage them. So that's removed, ready for paint. So let's do the second one. So again, you'll probably have a bit of glue that you'll just need to sort of scrape off here. And then it should be a case of, there you go, simply popping out the little less logos. And the final step, so again, unhook this. So just use a little screwdriver underneath to see that one's actually already cracked from when I've done it previously by the looks of it. Same with that side, so just be gentle that I don't crack it too much more. I mean if you do crack it, you either buy a, buy a new set or just stick a little bit of super glue just to hold them in place. So that's fine, so these are now ready for paint. Okay, so we just get our little screwdriver in. 
and just try and leave it up. Over, so that's one side out. And again, just be gentle. These plastics, especially on these cars now, are getting a little bit older, so they're a bit fragile, so you don't want to damage them. So that's removed, ready for paint. So let's do the second one. So again, you'll probably have a bit of glue that you'll just need to sort of scrape off here. And then it should be a case of, there you go, simply popping out the little S logos. And the final step to again unhook this. So just use a little screwdriver underneath to see that one's actually already cracked from when I've done it previously by the looks of it. Same with that side, so just be gentle that I don't crack it too much more. I mean if you do crack it, you either buy a, buy a new set or just stick a little bit of super glue just to hold them in place. So that's fine, so these are now ready for paint. Okay, so the next step in the preparation for painting these is to actually remove the red S's. So it's up to you, you could leave them chrome, the red S, if that matches your particular look on your car. For mine, because my car's got a green, yellow and black theme to it, I'm actually gonna take these red S's off. You can order replacement stickers from eBay, uh, or online, I'll put a link in the description to where I got my S badges from. So I'm actually having yellow stickers to replace the stock red ones. And I'm actually going to paint this chrome bit as well black. So I'm going to completely strip these apart, clean off the glue. So best thing to do to get this sticker off is to leave it in the sun, which I've done. Then it should pretty much peel off all in one go. Go. And if you're just replacing the sticker and you're not actually painting them, you might just want to just get rid of that glue before you stick your new sticker on because any sort of rough imperfections in the surface will actually show up in your new sticker. So what I'm going to do is actually go and get some glue remover and that will cut straight through this glue. Okay, so if you don't have glue and tar remover, another quick tip is actually Spray some WD-40 onto a cloth. Just don't bend those on the back. So WD-40 on the cloth, and you can see straight away that's biting through that glue. Let's get a bit more. Yep, so that's getting that glue off. So do that to both of those. And then what we'll want to do is actually sand this chrome down so that the paint sticks to it. So we'll get some sandpaper and do that next. Right, so I've actually sprayed these. So all I did, rub those down with sandpaper to give them a nice surface. Then use some primer, so Grey Halford's primer. And then I've actually used satin black. So it's a, a nice, easy paint to get a decent finish. So you've not got to rub and polish and clear coat etc it's really simple to use so if you're going to try and black out stuff i definitely recommend using satin or matte paint because you get such a good finish it's so easy to do i've actually painted these as well using the same paint and then the s logos i've actually got replacement stickers so i'll put a link in the description to where you can get your own replacement stickers and you can get them in any color you want and then we've obviously got the original smoke lights that will be going back in so how do we rebuild it so flip this over and we just click this in place it goes back the exact reverse of how we built them and took them apart in the first place clip that on the back make sure it's clipped in both ends so that's your grill get your S logo and you've got this little locator here so what we do line that up, it's a little bit tricky line that up push that into place now sometimes that will just hold itself in place and you don't need to worry about it if you're a bit nervous then just put a, a, a blob of glue or adhesive on the back of there you won't see it obviously because this is solid it will just hold that pin in place and the last step 
is to hook your reflector back in. So just how you removed it, follow the exact same process. And there you go, that's one side rebuilt. So it's as simple as that. So let's do the second one. Flip that over, flip that in place. Make sure it's pressed in at both ends. And again, locate a pin into the little hole. And there you go. I'm actually happy with the way those have locked in, so I'm not going to put any adhesive on mine. And again, with this, you've got the pressing clip and you've got the hook. So the hook goes on this side, the pressing clip goes in that side. I hook the hook around and then just pop it in. There you go, that's done and ready to go back on the car. Okay, so back to the car. It's so simple to refit these. So we've obviously got them rebuilt, ready to go. So if you left your bulb holder on, So yeah, bulb in place, hook the hook on the back edge there, push it in place, push that in, and that's fitted. So then what I'll do is just repeat the process on the other side of the car, so remember you've got the prong to push in the front edge and the hook to hook on the back edge. So it's as simple as, remember, if you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel, that really supports us and we would really appreciate that. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon.